It is time. It's time to light with your best friend. Our cold night season is starting to the bottom of the union. Play the sound. And then the lightning round is over. Are you ready? Ski dag time for the lightning round. Let's start with Joseph in New York. Joseph. Hello, Mr. Kramer. Thank you for taking my call. Of my course, Joseph. Is, What's happening? Yeah, my stock is Freeport Mac Moran. It's off of its highs. Is it a buy? No, I tell you, it's too risky. It's too sink or swim. I'm against the sink or swim names. I just think you got to go something more steady and it's got more secular growth. Let's go to Jim in New Jersey. Jim. Hey, Jim. How you doing? I'm Listen, doing well. How about you, Jim? I just want to tell you something, brother. I've been watching well, you ahead, for 10 years. It. And uh, I am retired because of you. So if you ever question ah. your validity and everybody else who's the talking heads, you do touch people and you change your lives. Okay, I wanted to uh, tell you that. Thank okay, you, Jim. I, I mean, I, I, you know, I've been at it for a long time. time. Thank you. So know, how do I help you right now? All right, so listen. Yes, we did. Yep. I rode, uh, rode up the EV uh, craziness uh, a few years ago. So I bought a stock that was like $1.75, rode it to 65 Sold a third of it, bought Tesla, got a good portfolio. Now, this particular stock named Neo has drifted back, but I got a lot of it. Do I stay long with it or do I lick my wings? I think you can hold it. You know, what, what's happening with some of these stocks in, in China is that the government runs them. They say, okay, listen, let's take that stock up. They did it in Japan, by the way, between 87 and 91. It was a very strange thing. I think the Chinese are doing that now. I want you to hold on to it for when the government runs it and then you can sell. Let's go to Daniel in New York. Daniel. Hey, Jim. Quick Damn. FYI, when I was in college, I sold kitchen knives door to door, and your wife was nice enough to buy a few knives from me. The Cutco, so man, she still loves them. You know, we used them just last night. They are still sharp. I thank you for coming by. It's terrific <laughs> stuff. Happy to hear that. So as it relates to the stock market, my observation is that men spend quite a bit of money to meet attractive women, and the match group is at all-time low. So is it a buy here around 36 I don't know. The quarter wasn't that good, but I like your concept of thinking of buying it cheap because there is a, a level of what I, I regard as being, I don't, I don't know, consistency. Once things got better after COVID, I think people got a little too excited about the stock. I would not sell the stock at 35. I think that could be a mistake, although I have to admit the numbers are not that great right now. And thank you again for the cut. That stuff's incredible. I mean, I, I also like the handle. The handle never gets, you can wash it a million times. Let's go to Wendy in Connecticut. Wendy. Hey, Jim. Thanks for taking my call. Sure, Wendy. Um, What's happening? Uh, Greenwich, Greenwich, Connecticut. All right. Beautiful up there. I've got a question for you on the stock. Burford, B-U-R. I've held it for yeah, a long I, look, time. Look, that thing had a spike. There's some craziness going on there. Sometimes you just have to say, I don't understand why that stock did what it did. I wish I did so I could be more helpful, but I can't be. I'm sorry. Let's go to Kevin in Idaho. Kevin. Professor Chill. I've been oh, watching man, you for the like 30 here. years. So it's a pleasure and an honor to finally speak with you, Jim. If only my mom had some... seen me longer. What's up? <laughs> Jim, I have some shares of a company that's paid me great dividends for many years, but I'm just sick watching the price drop and drop. I'm not sure that now is the time to sell and realize my losses. Jim, what the heck is the deal with Verizon? It's being crushed by T-Mobile. I mean, eviscerated. I mean, just amazing. What a beatdown. I do have to tell you that this is not the level to sell it. It's got a good yield, 6%. I do trust the deal. I do trust that yield. They have not demonstrated to me any real growth, and that is a shame. And they got to start doing that, or maybe we need a couple of changes. You know, if we delivered, if you and I delivered those numbers, believe me, every day we've been looking, we've been waiting for pink slip. Let's go to Tim. I never saw it. I've had, I've fired and I've been fired. Never once did I get it in pink. Let's go to Tim in Michigan. Tim. What is that? Yes, never. I've called Tim. and bought a company with no debt, impressive growth, providing a product that's demand and pricing are holding up and promise to, in the long term, grow with the well, transition. So far, I'm liking what I'm hearing. Vehicle. I'm liking what I'm hearing. Trailing P.E. of 4.5, and yet the momentum is not good on this one. I took a little initial bite last week, and uh, at the risk of catching a falling knife, I got a little bit of a bleed. What say you about Encore Wire, W-I-R? Oh, it's a Cutco situation. Okay, look, Encore is cheap because it's a bit of a value trap. I'm not going to sell you to sell it here because it does have real earnings. But I have to tell you, it is exactly like my series that I did this week. Very hard to figure out a way to get that stock running. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the conclusion of the 
Lightning Round. The Lightning Round is sponsored by TD Ameritrade. Coming up, Costco got it wrong. Can the stock pivot back to best of breed status? Stick with Kramer. Don't miss a second of Mad Money. Follow at Jim Kramer on Twitter. Have a question? Tweet Kramer. Hashtag Mad Tweets. Send Jim an email to madmoney at CNBC.com or give us a call at 1 800 743 CNBC. Miss something? Head to madmoney.cnbc.com.